all right guys um in today's video i will share with you guys on how to use mysterium vpn perfectly for online survey okay for those of you that are trying to use survey but they are detecting your vpn today it will stop right so they're just great with it if this is the first time you're coming across my channel can you subscribe like and follow for more updates like this um for those of you that have subscribed thank you so much i really appreciate your efforts thank you for sharing thank you for commenting god bless you okay so let's just go into it. If, um firstly these are mr vpn right these are mr vpn okay you are mr vpn so uh okay let's just enter that before you take survey with this vpn okay before you take survey with this vpn without uh perhaps your, ha your phone have low gram or you have two gram three gram four gram first thing you need to do is to just go to your settings okay just go to your settings right here go to your settings then go to this small connection right so this small connection right here okay all right let's just go to more connections all right um this is vpn i see vpn right see it here. when you click on this click on the mystery of vpn you want to use for survey that moment okay just click on it and click on always on i see it always on like this then block all connections with our vpn yeah what it means is that when your network literally sees or something happens with it, it will not uh it will only off all networks. You understand? It will all your network will just off and with that we um they cannot detect that you are using a VPN. Okay, everything will just off. You understand? So before you do anything, just make sure you do something like this, okay? Uh-huh. So the second thing you need to do is to just uh lock your VPN right here. I see in this place. Up here, lock it, lock it whenever you are taking survey, just lock it, okay? So oh, you won't go and remove it and uh, you get disqualified. Or, I mean you get detected, right? So that's it. Let's run run prices with okay. So now the second the third thing you need to do now is to go to this place, uh this settings up here. I see in this settings up here. So just click on it. Now you see this place that it says uh uh okay refresh ip addresses okay don't turn it on you see get new addresses get new uh ip addresses at every connection what it means anytime you connect to the internet it will literally change your ip address okay it will change your ip address so to avoid that just make sure you turn it off okay because you need to look for a good ip then start using so that it will not be changing when, when you are taking some of your when you disconnect it will not change okay so that's the thing now let's connect it okay we have two type of uh, ip right here we have two type of ip this is high speed ip this is residential ip as you all know we use residential ip for survey okay we residential ip for survey so we just click on residential ip right here. then you choose the country you want so i'm going for united kingdom right so i'll just go for united kingdom right here this is united kingdom right this is united kingdom okay so now i'm using uh okay let's just see i see the countries that are here right you're seeing the country so you don't need to use country just click on connect all right now it has connected right it has connected so this is the ip right here this is the ip right here okay this is the ip so now let's go and check if this ip is good we'll be using some few websites right today we'll be using some few websites through website okay now this is ip score.io i see ip score.io right here uh cj ip score.io okay this was what we use first to check so you will not be using one website for these things because one website cannot give you full details of your ip okay so now um this one is residential ip right residential ip i see residential ip this is uh from uh no one internet limited this is not a popular isp like that okay if you want a popular isp you can go for like talk talk um uh this uh, virgin media vodafone and um uh, vodafone like that three of them like that are very very good very very good okay this is a uh, residential ip right are you seeing yeah the zero frost call so i won't be trusting this website that it has given me everything i need okay don't stick to one website okay let's jump into another website ipscore.com ipscore.com cd okay let's check ipscore.com all right this ipscore.com right so let's check let's check 
probably when you see something like this normally i don't recommend you use this this provision i don't recommend it because this is not good this is not good as at my research i forgot what this means okay i forgot what it means but this is not actually good like that it's not good when you are seeing something like this okay so let's check another website here let's check where it's come this is where it's come right on this same ip you are checking many websites because we want to find a good one for ourselves so uh this is it this is it these are everything so actually this ip is good a little bit yeah it's good you can use this for survey you can use this for survey without being detected right you can use it for survey without being detected uh okay now let's check for another ip address so let's all check for that one okay all right um probably my if you check you might see okay your ip is not good your ip is not good right just tap on this thing. most of you know these things okay to refresh your ip most time people say it uh an ip that start with 80 something are probably good uh yeah they are good but some are blacklisted okay they are blacklisted and if you try taking something with all of those kind of things uh i think this is 87 right let's just check uh what was called okay, i think um i mean IP score. I think that one used to bring some good things. Okay, you might say it has been blacklisted. Okay, so uh, this one has not been blacklisted. Okay, it's not, it has not been blacklisted, right? All right. Uh, let's just scroll down. Now, okay, this is probably good, a good proxy, but let's just check another website, right? This let's just check another website because we are trying to see something right here. That's how we do it. If you are using proxy, if you are using a VPN, that's what I VPN. But if you proxy, if you check it once, check it again, that's good. Okay? You don't need to check it anymore. Alright. So um also make sure you are checking these things. This place right here, uh that is called uh proxy right force. Make sure it is false. Sometimes my right VPN, which is not good. Okay. I found I see this one is probably very good because uh it was given by sky this is a popular network also isp i see very very good very very good so this ip now i can use this for survey without any issue i can log into my survey account right now and you will see that there's no issues with this survey so i see i see so maybe let me just log into one of my e cash accounts okay guys i've logged into my e cash account you can see it did not tell me vpn login even though this account has been uh it has a list of survey, yeah. It has a list of survey. Actually, I've cashed out a lot of things on this account, okay. A lot from this account, right? So, for you to load up this account in low safe, it will tell you that, yeah, this uh, this account has now uh, this VPN is trying, okay. It's trying, as I can see, cash out a lot from me, but I'm, I didn't use VPN to cash out all of these things, okay. I'm just trying to show you for those of you that are using VPN. I'm using proxy, okay? So if I'm trying to take some, let me try to take one survey. Let's see if I qualify. I think I qualify for survey. So I'm actually still using VPN. Let me just show you right here. I'm still using VPN. I see I'm connected, right? So that's the power of VPN. It is good. Also, you can take survey with it, right? So kindly subscribe, like, and follow for more updates like this. And I will see you on the next one, guys. Peace out.